Hey guys, we're live from Red Moto. So today I'm going to be working on this 2017 Honda Accord four door passenger side fender removal and installation. If you guys need this fender for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. And if you guys need any pre painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre painted auto body parts source. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. Let's go ahead and get started. So to remove this fender, we're going to go ahead and start off right here in the fin on the bumper itself. We're going to take off this uh, screw right here. It's going to be a Phillips. And then again, there's going to be another one right up here. It's going to be a Phillips screwdriver. Alright, so let's go ahead and get right, started. So you guys are going to need a Phillips like this one. And let's go ahead and unscrew this. If the uh, wheel is in your way like mine is right now, let's go ahead and turn it. Let's do that. Alright, so now we got a better angle right here. Go ahead and take those screws off. Here. And we should be able to pull this back like this. And then right here, you're going to reveal another screw. So let's see here. Yep. So it's going to be two screws. I mean, not screws, um, bolts. One right here and one right here. And they're both 10 millimeters. So let me show you what those look like. So right here, these two, one and two right there, I'm going to take those bolts off. And there's just going to be a ratchet set right here with a uh, 10 millimeter. Let's see, just like that guys. Alright, so pull this back. One last one right here. The one right there all right so one thing bef before i install this later on this this bracket right here the fender goes behind this bracket which holds the head all right so now if you guys go underneath the fender you're gonna see this push pin right here i'm gonna take that off and then i'm gonna go ahead and round it out and on the side of the fender right here you're gonna go ahead and take off those uh push pins also all right so this one right here is gonna get a get something like this which is the panel removal tool or a flathead will work also I'm gonna go ahead and take this off probably won't be able to see it like this but you take that off basically you wedge something in between this one's already fragile and broken so you pop the two and then that should release the clip. Okay, so you have three of them, but this one's missing one. So one, two, and three. All right, so let's, let me see if I can demonstrate with like, well, since I already know how to take it off, I'm gonna go ahead and buy one down here. I think it would have been better off with a fly head, but yeah, these things are just so super fragile now. All right, so this one's super fragile guys. What you guys could do is uh, locate like, there's just these prongs right here. So on each side, like that. So all you have to do is get a flathead and push down on one. And one, one clip kind of releases on one side, kind of pull back on it and then release the other one. But if you guys damage this, just go buy another one at the dealership. They're like, I would say like a couple of dollars. So, they're no biggie. I believe there's going to be another clip down here, which there is. So as you guys can see, there's going to be a clip right here, which is a push pin. There we go. So that one's off. And then right here, it's going to be a 10 millimeter. Alright, that one's off. And there we go. All right, guys. Once you open that door, you're gonna locate that bolt right there. That's gonna be a 10 millimeter. But the other thing is, if you guys look on the side, let me see if I can show you guys from back here. So there's like this cover right here. This is a black cover right here. All you guys do is push in, and that will release it from the fender. 
So if you guys look at this, it's just like a plastic cover. Uh, maybe like up here. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this bolt right here. There's that bolt right there. So if you guys look at the top of the fender right here, so it looks like there should be a clip somewhere right here and a bolt, but I believe this car's been in an accident before, so whoever did this didn't install this clip right here. So you should have a clip and a bolt right here. You have a 10 millimeter right here, and we're gonna remove this and we're gonna reveal another uh, 10 millimeter. So go ahead and remove this. This one right here. All right, guys. So the other bolts right here. You need to lift up this one. It's back here. Right, and okay, the, the fender should be ready to be removed. Let me just the up. Yeah, it is. So, let me show you guys how to do that. The only thing you got to watch out for is the door, and just open it up a little bit. Down here. And then up here, just kind of push up a little bit. And then wiggle that fender out. It's just got to wiggle it out from that, uh, that bracket right there. Got to push the bracket back a little bit. All right, there we go. There's your fender right there. So you guys can see right here, this bracket. So you have two brackets, right? So this bracket right here is attached to the fender. This one is gonna be attached to the headlight. And this is the body of the uh, car. So when you guys wedge the uh, new fender, you gotta put it really on top of this uh, metal bracket right here. If you put it in this slot, it won't, it won't work. So you gotta push, push it in here. And all I did on this one is just kind of pull back like this and it released this uh, fender. All right guys, so the next step is going to go ahead and take this bracket off. So it's just a screw, a Phillips screw right here. Maybe two of them. So from behind, all I did was pinch this, so it releases it, okay? All right guys, here's our brand new fender that's already been uh, painted to color match the vehicle. Again, if you guys need this fender, the link is down below. It's at redmoto.com. So go ahead and get this one installed. So remember, this fender goes behind those brackets. There we go. Like prongs that comes off the headlight that goes this way. There's two of them. It's got to line up with the holes. And if you guys line up with the holes, everything lines up like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put these bolts into place. And then over here is going to be the screws. So the spender liner should go on top of the bumper like that. Then this thing should be like that. Then everything can be screwed on. Find the liner in. So the next step would be to line up the top part. So guys, now we're gonna go ahead and put the bolt on top. I went ahead and hand tied this thing right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hand tie this one. So we're just trying to see if it lines up 
before we tighten everything up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the hood because I wanna see if the alignment is correct on top first. Okay, so all I'm checking is this, this alignment is correct on each side. So right here, all we gotta do is push it in just a little bit and tighten it and it'll sit flush and everything else looks good. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. I'm gonna go ahead and put those push pins into place right here. I believe I put them over here. I don't know, where'd it go? They were over here. Oh, they're on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolt right there and the bolt down there. Just to see if we can get the alignment correct. Alright, so the last thing is we have to put these things in place, these clips over here, but we're going to get them new ones so we don't need these right now. But I think that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and give this car a good wash, get the color match on there because it's a little dirty, looks a little bit off right now, but it's just the dirt on it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wash this car and get this, uh, this vehicle done. All right guys, that's how you install a 2017 Honda Accord passenger side fender. Thank you guys for watching. And comment down below if there's any questions that you guys need me to answer. Thank you guys.